All right, I'm in, um, okay, I can't remember right now. I'm having a mental block. Uh, Fan, Fannywood uh, Day, uh, Street Fair. There's a pizzeria here. This is down the block. We're going to be around the block on the other side. So maybe for dinner we'll get a pizza. And, and then there's a bagel place right over there. So maybe for lunch we'll get a bagel. But there is a pizza place here. So that's my dinner. All right, I helped again with the numbers today. Uh, that's my fancy work right there. Um, so at Fanwood, there's a Dunkin' Donuts here, so we can get coffee. There's the Port of Sands, there by the train. Um, this is the corner at which South and St. Ma uh, South Martin, South Avenue, South Martin Avenue. Um, there's a pizzeria down there and a bagel store. I'm going to be down here. Uh, I think it's, my space is 23 and 25 today. There's the train station. We're across from the train station. Um, yeah, see these numbers? I did that. <laughs> so proud of my work. Anyway, I'm go I can go get my car and I can take the stuff out of my car and I can start not setting up. It's too early for that, but just having this stuff out of my car and getting my parking spot and being settled for the day. Anyway, hopefully today will be a good day. Anything interesting happens, I will check in and note it. I'll show my space later. Yep, that's about it for now. All right, I parked in the Provident uh, Bank parking lot just like last year. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to see if I can get all the way in where you can see my car. There I am by the dumpster. Okay. Uh, so here's my spot, 23, 25. They were nice enough to give me two spots today. I'm in front of... Uh, Jolie Visa, Visage Clinique and straight across to the Fanwood station uh, sign which you can see now before it was real teeny in the shot uh, this morning we had a little bit of drama nothing too exciting but we're driving along and the check engine light comes on and we're like oh crap right um, because we barely drive that car so we were like okay what's going on and it turns out we were really low on antifreeze. This is an old car. We should check it more often. And I parked here. And then I saw this to unload the car. There's my stuff. I saw this big puddle, whatever. And I was like, oh, crap. Because, you know, you get all paranoid. Because we, we went to 7-Eleven. We put antifreeze in. And uh, oil. We're low on oil, too. But I checked it. It's water. Probably could drink it. Uh, probably came from our air conditioner. But okay, let me, let me get started setting up and see how it goes today. Alright, uh, for now this is my basic setup. They gave me two spaces and it works out that I have a little nook to walk in here in case somebody comes flush against me on that side and on that side. Uh, what did I do? Okay, I did two rows, this row, that row. And I put my two big tables here, big table, big table. And then I took, put my smaller tables here because I don't have as much games now. I'm kind of thinning out on games uh, semi on purpose. Just ca not carrying as much of, of them for now. Um, so big table, big table, small table, small table, card table, and uh, smaller non-folding table. I might take that table and put it here or switch that up. I haven't decided yet. Um, what I did in the front is I have a lot of CDs lately. so. I just made it so I have room for them all. I have more CDs than pretty much ever. I'm mostly, I'm very heavy CDs now. That's why I'm like, not really concentrating on games so much. But, uh, big table, big table, and then two small nine non-folding tables. I'm using all my tables today. Uh, got my tent up, so I'll have some shade. I'll show my setup again once I put everything out. And if it changes, I'll, I'll, cha I'll, I'll describe it again. I just had someone stop and notice my t-shirt and they uh, stood there and they read it and I kind of was half watching them because I didn't want to say anything I want to see their reaction and they had this like really quizzical look on their face so I said to them did you get it and he was like no <laughs> I was like uh, do you want me to explain it to you and he was like nah that's okay and he left I don't know I think it's pretty straightforward but I maybe you have to be a Star Trek fan beats me oh, anyway all right this is my space uh, I kept the tables the way that I wanted them 
I have these two skateboards. I just put them there. I'm going to tell people 10 bucks a piece. Put out some DVDs. I'm going to tell people $2, three for five. My assorted systems, we, I'm going to try to get 35. PS2, um, I'm going to try and get at least 35, maybe 40. I haven't decided yet. PS1, going to try and get 20, uh, no less. 25 to 20. Uh, GameCube's, I put, uh, people keep asking me really dumb questions like, is this a dollar because I put number one on it? But I put number one on it to match up the cords so people don't get confused or I don't get confused at the end of the day when I give it to them. I don't give them the wrong cords like PS2 cords or something like that. I'm going to try and get at least 35 a piece. I, I told some kid 35 this morning. Sega Genesis, I'm going to get 25 to 30. And there's my Xbox 360, I'm going to get at least 50 for that. I did bring a Super Nintendo today. I'm going to get 50 for that. Some assorted games. You know, Rando, whatever. Some PS2. My uh, games that are a little more expensive. Not expensive. I'll show on the other tables. You'll see the other stuff there. Um, like I said, I did one big table, one big table. Two little tables, the ones that fold. Uh, my car table. And then uh, my other table that does not fold and it's smaller. In the case, I'm pulling some stuff out today. See all of these? Sega Genesis does not sell for me. These things are getting screwed up. So I'm going to take them out and I'm going to give them to the kid. And I'm going to tell her to lot them. I'll leave, I'll leave these two. But all of these other ones, these oddball ones, they're coming out. Like I'll leave this, the Champions. That's like a $5 game. That actually, I can put it in a Sega Genesis. I, I need that. Probably Pitfall isn't expensive. I'll eat Pac-Man, but even this $12 game, <laughs> just this $25 game, uh, $10 games I might leave. Anything more than $12 coming out and going online. Sorry guys, I gave you about a year to buy them. You did not. This is where Marie's jewelry is going to be. All right. Her two showcases. That's the new stuff she got today. That's got to go out. And uh, it's, it's the stuff we bought yesterday and the day before. And possibly some of it last week because we were going to do a show last week. And hey, don't try and call me today, anybody. My phone's being a jerk. It's not working right. Keep shutting off and on. Um, anyway, that's uh, some of the new jewelry she had. Marie's not here yet. She uh, didn't set up her space. What did I do in my front row? Well, basically everything here is four dollars three for ten. Makes it easy, right? All the CDs. $4 free for 10. I got, I'm getting more and more CDs. I think soon I might be more of a CD guy and less of a game guy. Uh, I might be going that direction, but I, but I believe I will always have games. I'm just going to rotate them more. Um, I don't have time to list a lot of stuff, and I'd much rather sell it to uh, people at a flea market than go through the trouble of listing it on eBay and selling it and blah, 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 blah. I'm even much happier taking less than um, what it's actually worth. Um, but if it doesn't sell, I got to rotate stock. So, you know, that's why I, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do less uh, video games. I think I'm going to do more systems and just, and make like bundles, small bundle systems. And uh, I think I might start doing more records. Records sell people. In case you didn't know, here's the 411 record sell. Anyway, a bunch of CDs. I got my two big tables because now I've got so many CDs. I don't trust the two weaker tables. Um, they're just Walmart flimsy, if you know what I mean. All right, I got a bunch of records. Four dollars three for ten. Pretty, I, everything on this table is four dollars three for ten. And uh, then these are like not uh, games that are basically worth between four dollars to seven or eight dollars. Uh, that I'm selling four dollars three for ten. Wii games, Xbox 360, PS3 games. And I always try and put out some old school PS2 and original Xbox games. And even though almost nobody ever, 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 ever buys them, I put them out anyway because sometimes, like, if I sell the PS2 systems, I go, you can take, like, two games there or three games, whatever I feel like. I don't really make a lot when I sell systems, but people like them. And, uh, I don't know, you know, they make everybody happy. <laughs> Um, I put out these cars. I figured, why not? I got, I got the space. I'll do it. And I'll sell them for like a dollar or less. Um, I already sold my DVDs, my skateboards. Yep, that's my space. There it is. One big side view. I was lucky today. They let me run long. Anyway, if anything interesting happens, I'll 
I'll post it, but it might be a pretty damn long and boring day. One thing I did forget to mention is that uh, Fanwood Cam is going to be up today uh, for the Fannywood Street Fair. There it is, Fanwood Cam. I'm going to turn it on uh, when the place gets crowded. Right now there's nothing going on. It's pretty empty. I don't think it starts until 10. It's 10.06, 10 10 so it's happening now. Anyway, when it gets busy, I'll turn on the camera. And if you're interested in watching people shop <laughs> and look at stuff and what the crowd was like, go to this Gummy Resellers channel. I'll post those videos there. They'll be in 10 minute blocks um, because this camera for me, I can't edit. I, you don't want to know my problems. Anyway, like I said, uh, if you're interested in seeing me interacting with people, working some wheels, wheels wheeling and dealing, um, or just people looking at stuff, <laughs> if that's your thing, you know, uh, go to this coming resellers channel and you'll be able to watch video of, of that. All right, uh, it's kind of early. Uh, it's a little after 10. The street fair opens at 10. So far, it's kind of slow. Not a lot of people. Uh, most people don't come out till 11 after church. This will probably be my only chance to walk through the market. Uh, so you get to see who was here, what kind of stuff was here today. Uh, like jewelry, if you like jewelry. Uh, got lemonade, in case you're thirsty. Yeah, right. Uh, this is a fundraiser we've been doing for a couple years now. Oh, uh, they have a thing for teething. I went to get uh, some bagels at the bagel store. Actually, I'm going to have probably bagels sandwiches for dinner. Uh, as you can see, the street's kind of thin now. The band hasn't set up yet. They're not performing or anything yet. Uh, not a lot of vendor vendors on this side. More promotional. Uh, sometimes they have a car show here also. I don't think they have it today. Usually they would have a car show over there. No, I don't see it. All right, not today. All right, this is the street that I'm on. We're lucky. We still have shade. Uh, it's very sunny over there. I uh, actually like shade because I burn up. I'm a very fair-skinned person. All right, let's see. Okay, on this side we have food. Got the hot dog. Got the hamburgers. Got the cafe galore. Athens of Light. Greek food. Gyros, cupcakes. You like cupcakes? They make pretty damn good cupcakes. Come here from. And we got the, the Jersey Pickles guy. Uh, what are those? Waffles on a stick. Mm, that's pretty convenient. Way to eat waffles, I guess. Viva la crepe. A lot of food over here today. Uh, and now it looks um behind this food. Oh, they got those mozza mozza repas. I don't know if you ever had those, but they're kind of like corn cakes with mozzarella cheese in them. A lot of people like them. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got some uh, airbrush. And here we got your normal flea market fare. Tacos, chicken. Uh, got a hen of people today. They have rides in the parking lot behind uh, the trees and stuff. They got the air rides. Oh, here's uh, Crestwood Lake. That's a local author that sets up at the street fairs to promote his books. You can do that. Street first get a lot, a lot of people come through, tons of traffic. Get a few people to buy your book, you make some money. I don't know what they charge people that sell that. Oh, here's the Everyone Wins. Oh, there's my space over here. I'm not really going to walk the whole market. It's not really much longer anyway. Um, dollar guys at the end. So uh, that's it. That's my quick tour of the street fair today. I'm going to film the camera while I'm talking. I uh, just started picking up, broke 120. My big sales so far were like... Um, and this is I'm filming the camera and then if you want to see me filming the camera watch the video of those gummy resellers this will be like uh, I don't know maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes and me talking into my camera while I'm fil filming that camera uh, just started to pick up I sold some mostly game stuff uh, a GameCube and a Paper Mario game and some other miscellaneous stuff like CDs I sold some records so that's good but anyway back to work bye bye well, it's picked up and I'm doing a little better, um, but people keep messing up my Star Wars. They're all shooting at something over there. Take uh, 
CP30 out of the range of fire. Yeah, I don't know what they're shooting at. There. I arrange it, people mess it up. All right, I'm in the process of packing my stuff, and I will say one thing about this market. When it died, it died. It pretty much ended when it ended. Uh, it ended probably about an hour ago, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, around 4 uh, Yeah, well, actually before that, because it's... 345 because it's about 445 now five o'clock is when the market ends and we're gonna be getting our stuff out of here uh, I already packed a bunch. It's all the way over there um, You know the funny thing is we did about what we did last year It's uh, maybe we made a little bit more, but it was pretty goddamn consistent You know, I, I got to check and see what we sold last year, but I think it's probably the same too Anyway, I don't know this this is probably the end you see there's nobody in the street walking around it never got super crowded here. It was pretty hot. It was pretty humid, um, but not no rain, you know. So, a de so I would say like a decent day, just humid, you know. Uh, anyway, let me let me pack, and if anything exciting happens, you know, I'll add to the video.